It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC West. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. All that and more coming up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the L.A. Chargers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gaughan with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield. Throwing first play is Herbert. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and ran it. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. 
you got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. On first down, Justin Herbert. This will be caught inside the 10. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Off the option, here's Edwards. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Now Herbert, third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Touchdown. Here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Here's the Chiefs' offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Mahomes now to throw. Well, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, you can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a second because he caught it just couldn't stay in bounds 
Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that went to the right side and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a 7-yard return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Herbert now. Short throw underneath to Hurst. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. He's not crippled about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That good for 19 at a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. on first down now. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 46, here's a second and four. Now it's Herbert. Johnston on the quick slam. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run on first down. Vidal. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Short throw to Disley. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnston. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Edwards. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Partner, that's another short run there, and I think the easy thing is to look at him right now and say, let's get away from him entirely. Let's start throwing the football, but I don't think you ever entirely abandon the run. It helps set a tone for the game for you, keeps your offensive linemen feeling good about themselves, and it actually tamps down a defense's pressure because if you just throw it all the time, it's going to tee off with the pass rush. On fourth down, Herbert, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in, and if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high because mentally you're saying, hey, yeah, you're in the red zone, we're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. A quick throw caught by Rice. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Now a second and two. They go play fake. Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. It's a gain of five. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. And again, it's Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to Travis Kelsey. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. 38 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle, complete. That's Brown. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Good throw, good catch, but I really 
like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that would incomplete as it breaks a string of eight straight pass completions. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Mahomes going to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's great. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now Mahomes. This is caught. Touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. We'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play. And, and the Chiefs are going to get him. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Now, you've been around me a long time now. You know on second and inches, I love it when teams are aggressive and take a shot, but we just saw the downside to being that aggressive, didn't we? Now you've given up on a pretty likely first down if they had run the football and they need to come up with something here on third. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. A route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The Chargers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And it's the right side here, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give them 32 on the play. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Herbert operating from the red zone. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert on third down now. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll try again. And Edwards will score for a Charger touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have regained the lead. Well, we have seen the stiff arm get a bit of renaissance here in recent seasons, and that was pure strength there as he forced his way into the end zone. And when you think of guys who use the stiff arm so effectively, I go back to guys like Earl Campbell, Walter Payton, some recent guys like Marshawn Lynch. Let's go to the wayback machine. Bronco Nagurski, he dealt out a wicked stiff arm. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now 10-7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. Dicker now as he'll send this one away.
Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Now a quick throw there is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. Well, dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Mahomes now to throw. That ball caught. It's Rice. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right Harrison there because Parker. the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is now 14 to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not to any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Herbert on first down now. Open man, it's Palmer. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Herbert now on second down. Short throw to Disley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Chargers on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. They're up against a third and one situation. On the handoff, Edwards. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Running left is Edwards. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here is third and five. Back to throw here, Herbert. Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. 81 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 43, it's second and three. Here's Herbert. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moving. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Herbert. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Will go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. Again, that's Hurst. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 
18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Play action. It's Herbert. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Here's Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Will Disley, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have yet again retaken the lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Extra point try now from Dicker. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. send it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Man, we've got an injured player, and that's Travis Kelsey, who appears to be in a bit of discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. This second and four. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. All able to avoid him. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down.
Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. He'll get this to the 40. Sweet little juke in there. Got him some extra yardage. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Touchdown! 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chargers going to take over now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Setting up to throw on first down. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Herbert now. That's the tight end, Hurst with it. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A good pick up there, 21 yards. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Herbert back to the air. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Herbert. 
Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. But partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Oh, clock running as he's brought down, but now you can't spike it. It's fourth down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brian.